Hello there, this is Through Spades, and today I kind of wanted to make a quickish video um, talking about kind of my uh, Windows 10 theme here and kind of why I figured that it would be a decent fix to making the default Windows 10 look nice. Um, so I have a few gripes with the default. Windows 10 theme, and unlike a lot of people who are just gonna say, fuck it, throw out, you know, throw the baby out with the bathwater, there's nothing good about it, I beg to differ, because with a few changes, instead of just throwing this shit out and going back to Frutiger Arrow, which is once again a dead end that's gonna solve nothing, um, I say instead maybe take the kind of approach where you make this design look better and make it also more useful. So, by default, this is my proposal for what the Windows 10 desktop, I think, should look like, where this is the wallpaper. If I get ri ri you know, rid of the desktop icons, this is your default desktop. And I think you should start with no programs by default, so you can see the wallpaper. And then you have the start menu, which keeps this Windows 10 logo, but now conveniently has start. A text, a bit of text telling you where to fucking go. You know, I, I get that people were used to it after Windows Vista or whatever, but I feel like removing this did a lot of harm, especially with the transition to the flat um, box design of Windows 10. And there are... Another thing I briefly mentioned in the um, how to speed up your computer video, one thing I like about Windows 10 and using a program called OpenShell to get this button and this menu is um, I can click the middle mouse and switch between this menu and this one. And I feel Windows 10 by default should have that kind of functionality as well as a list of helpful things. Because here's the thing. When you look at what this is and what this is, it's a list. They're both lists. I think we could do something like this where we have a, you know, glassy look, kind of a fog, because Windows 11 is transitioning over to that, but by default, I don't think Windows 10 had very good light themes. So, this would be the way I'd do the light theme. So, let's say you want, you know, your UI to actually look pleasant, which I know, shocker, um, instead of, like, what it kind of is by default, where, where this sort of neon glow with the rays goes off to the left, I'd say about where my mouse is, kind of, and selecting all that, that, I can't even see half of it, because it turns into a, a cyan void, where my programs are floating out in the nothingness, and it's not very pleasant to look at by default, so I still liked the design of Windows 10, but I feel as if the new design could have used a bit of work, and um, this would be the way I would do it. I'd also include, you know, a list of helpful things here on the desktop, because people are going to be used to the desktop, but, you know, let's just say they want the menus and stuff. These are helpful. These are helpful. And this is the way I would I would sort of fix it. So a little rough rant there, if you will. Um, this kind of wasn't very organized. But another thing I would do, taskbar. As you can see, there's not very much on it. Um, basically, you don't even have the task view, none of the searches, whatever it be. I feel that should be hidden by default. You have this menu or this one, depending on if you're in touch mode. Like, if you're in touch mode, use this menu. If you're not, use this one. And I hide all of this stuff here by default, and what I usually do is, like, go to my taskbar settings and set the taskbar to the top. And the reason why is because everything is up here. It's all easier to see it in one place. I feel this, you know, looks very pleasant by default, and if I go into, you know, whatever programs it be, like let's say I go to youtube.com, 
and you know, I've got the little gradient theme. I go here to YouTube, and it's like, well, I want to watch my videos. This all, I can very consistently go from one app to another. And let's say, I don't know, paint.net. So this way, it's kind of like a halfway point, and the colors aren't as all over the place and jarring. Because if you're going to have a bunch of rainbow colors, basically, in your programs list, and you should probably have the desktop be reflective of that, where it's very colorful, it's very vibrant, like here. This is flat, but once again, it works here. This kind of um, multiple colored glow because inevitably, as I've said here, you know, you're, you're, the colors of all the different programs you have are going to look like a rainbow. So if you have different styled programs that you could cohesively transition from one to another, and the design looks consistent, the design looks coherent, and it looks like it's not, you know conflicting. I, I even go to control panel, right? And I want to say, I don't know, power options. And just go to all items or stuff like, you know, large and small. It works. I think this feels a lot more consistent. I feel like this is a design that makes more sense. And especially for light mode. I will kind of show what my idea for fixing the dark mode is. I have a few more ideas for the dark mode, but um, this is how I would fix Windows 10's light mode. Um, hope you've enjoyed. Basically, in summary, make this start mode, this start menu here for the desktop, this one, which is the normal one for tablets, um, have this wallpaper that adds the other colors back in instead of it just being blue only, where half your screen turns into Windows 95. And as well as that, give people various options for, you know, which menu they want to use, all of this. Disable all this shit in the taskbar by the start. And, you know, make this a lot more cohesive and friendly and visually pleasing to the eyes while still keeping in touch with what came before while attempting to transition to something that is new. And I feel this design would be a decent successor to what came before. I mean, obviously, it's boxes. But you can make the boxes look nice. That's what Windows is, by its, its nature. It's a bunch of boxes where your programs and shit are in. And they don't want to do that because they just want to inconvenience you. But, you know, you do this... I think you'll have a lot better of a time, and I feel as if they could do even more helpful things. You want to make Copilot useful? Why not have like a voice command that can say, hey, make me a list of games or something here, and you know, there you go. Or make a list of programs in a folder somewhere, and there. Like, that'd be helpful. Why don't they do that? Anyway. Um, hope that's helpful. Um, I will be back with a part two to this where uh, I discuss the dark mode. Happy Easter.